How has she got men down to a sentence? <laughs> Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of What We Do in the Shadows, Season 1, Episode 8. I love this show, it is super funny. The last episode was my favourite so far, and I'm excited to see where it goes. If you'd like to see the full unedited reaction, link will be down below for the Patreon for every single episode. Go Team Paul! <laughs> Uh, it's one dollar fifty, cheap as I can get it. Um, and yeah, other social medias follow me over on Twitter and stuff like that. And yeah, cool. Let's just get this now and have some fun. I have given a strange girl the most beautiful gift: the gift of becoming a vampiric, blood-sucking creature of the shadows. She has not yet blossomed into her full vampiric state, but I think she is on her way. Having crazy dreams, like super weird. <laughs> <laughs> My friends have noticed. <laughs> I mean, at that point, I'd be moving the F out. If you are gonna entice a victim into the house and then you let them leave, show them out. Loud and clear. Fair enough. It's All common right. courtesy. Yes, it yes. is. Also, is it possible for when you leave the house to blow out the candles? Observe. Simple as that. Major catastrophe averted. What is that disgusting putrefied smell? Like a snake in heat. That may be me. <laughs> I love that vampires have house meetings. You were the leader of a country? Yes. I was the leader of Al Colador. That sounds like you've just made it up. Sounds fake. No, I have not just made it up. It's a real country. It's not a fake country. It's a real country. Al Colador. Bless you. Guillermo, go on your <laughs> intelligent telephone machine and look it up. I love Nadja. Honestly, she's amazing. Oh, my God! Forget it. What? You are released. I'm not hungry. It's just... I just found out that my country doesn't exist anymore and I'm really depressed about it and I've lost my appetite. I tell you what, like I wish when I was depressed I lost my appetite. I have no hope. What? Maybe you feel better if you were an American citizen. Is that possible? Of course. Yes. I will make an alliance with this unholy nation and make this place my home. There you go. I think that's the bus stop there. I'll see you back at home. <laughs> Bye, Guillermo. You are living like a little chimney boy. If you want to be a powerful, strong vampire, you just have to complete your transition. How do I do that? Darling, it's nothing. You just got to drink some human blood, baby. That's all. I am going to teach you how to kill. Okay, is there any way I could just drink their blood but not kill them? Shh. You just shut up now, my stupid little baby. Okay. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Every time I do that, that fucking hurts, you know. I'll rip it out. Oh, so finally she's getting to the training of a vampire apprentice. What happened in 1992? Why didn't you complete the process? Probably because the Macarena swept the nation. So I didn't really have time for anything else. <laughs> okay, every vampire has... Yeah, well, seems fair. ...their own special power. So we need to work out what yours is so you can trap and kill your first human male. I can fold my tongue like a taco. What's that? Oh, no, no. Let's try, you seduce me. I am just stupid human man. Oh, ouch, ouch my balls. I would love to drink beer. Okay. Bye. How has she got men down to a sentence? I mean, that is pretty much a man that right there. I feel seen. Your lip seductively. Ow. Oh. Okay, maybe seduction isn't your special power. Darling, it's very easy. You just scratch up the wall. That's right. Come on. That's it. You're doing... Ow! Oh, oh, no. Are you okay? Oh. What the hell is going on? What's all this mess and what are you doing up there? Calm down, Laszlo. I was just teaching the little stupid baby vampire how to crawl. Who? Jenna. Who's Jenna? She's right there. Thing to say. Oh, see what you've done. Ruined her confidence. Damn. Idiot. Okay, 
just... Yeah, Laszlo, come on. She's new. She's a stupid baby vampire. Who is George Washington? George Washington? Yes. America's first gay president. I don't think that George Washington was actually... Yes? Hello, Nandor. Hello. Is that that virgin girl? Hi. He's going to be so mad. The transformation into a bat is probably the most important thing a vampire can do. Yes. Do you have somewhere that I could put my clothes? No, 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 no don't no, do that. What are you doing? If I'm going to be a bat, then don't I have to get... Where do my clothes go? Huh. Mm. Um, let's not get bogged down in the details. That is a very, very, very good question because they do turn into bats and they don't have clothes on as that. I mean, they look good with little clothes on though. So yeah, but we're getting off topic. Keep your clothes on for now. Oh, okay. Right. When I turn into a bat, there's no real skill to it at all. I just shout, bat! Human form. Much like that. Your turn. Oh. It's okay, calm down. They just stop screaming. Terrifying. What would you even call that? <laughs> the we the people. <laughs> that I would call the stuff of nightmares. Listen to my words. You will grant me my American citizenship. Make me one with your evil empire. Is this a joke to you, sir? <laughs> um, no. It's clearly not going to work on him. He's already evil. He works for citizenship. We elect a president for how many years? A thousand years. <laughs> well, Trump th thinks he's still president now, so maybe. What does the Constitution do for the people? It oppresses them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not American. I don't know what the Constitution is. So, yeah, my ignorance. I apologize. They are very bad for making such a big bong. <laughs> I love you. Me too, man. I don't know what it is, but holy nips, man. Jesus Christ. Can you just get out of my way? Out of my way? Why does nobody hear me? <laughs> Whoa. You went invisible. <laughs> you have a very, very special power. There you go. We found our power. She's invisible, which she was in human form, and which I was a lot in school as well. What the fuck? Hi. Hey. hey there. Um, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. She's like, hey, no, it's okay. I'm just going to murder you. It's fine. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince and without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me. So help me. So help me. Could I possibly just skip the last bit? You can't say the word God. So help me God! <laughs> <laughs> Holy balls. Okay, you can fly. You can transport anywhere as a bat. You are immortal. Do you have any idea how much people would pay? Who they would kill just to be who you are? To it's got a point, like, I mean, because if someone said to me I could be immortal, I would take that shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, who doesn't want to live forever and see how we evolve as a species and fucking get robots that love you and shit or whatever? I mean, that's just my personal preference. You know, why don't we have sex robots? <laughs> what? What is it? Motorcycle helmets protect vampires from the sun. Haven't you seen Blade? They put the things on and then the sun can't hit you. Oh. Trust me, it's the night of many firsts for both of us. I don't think that's true, though, is it? You are now a full-strong vampire. You no longer need me, and thus, 
your never-ending journey begins. It's so exciting. It is. What the fuck? Ah! Yeah, so um, that did not work, as as it turns out, it's, you, you're still been. I'm pretty sure I'm Blade, um, Frost, Deacon Frost, sort of his name was, would put Sunblock on, and that worked, like, ridiculous. I mean, I, those first two movies are great, but that was just ridiculous. Uh, I really enjoyed this episode. It wasn't as funny as the previous episode, but it's still a good one. I like the fact that she's teaching her how to become a vampire. I hope that continues on. Um, it was very interesting to see from, you know, a new vampire's perspective. And I love the fact that she's invincible. Uh, invisible, sorry. But kind of invincible if they avoid the sun and steaks and garlic and saying the word God. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed the episode. It was a super fun one. As ever, thank you for your support coming out to see these and this Halloween special of reactions. And um, if you're new, drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you all again very soon for more What We Do in the Shadows reaction videos.